New Lexus LS500H gets LC500HS multi-stage hybrid system ahead of Geneva reveal. Hybrid version of Lexus Detroit Star to be revealed in full at the Geneva Motor Show next month. Lexus has revealed more details about the new LS500H the firm's hybrid S-Class rival ahead of the car's debut at the Geneva Motor Show. This time, the car's hybrid powertrain is under the spotlight. As expected, Lexus has confirmed that the LS500H will get the same multi-stage hybrid system powertrain featured in the new LC500H Coupe a 3.5-liter twin-turbo V6 petrol engine mated to two electric motors and a four-stage shift CVT transmission, which Lexus says replicates the feel of the 10-speed gearbox featured in the petrol-only LS500. Should power figures remain completely unchanged, the V6 engine will produce 291 bhp alongside the extra 58 bhp of the electric motors for a combined power output of 349 bhp. Lexus says that on battery power alone the new LS500H is capable of hitting 87 miles per hour, but hasn't released an all-electric range. The company's new flagship was revealed at the Detroit Motor Show earlier this year. The 2017 LS gets a new platform and uses the latest Lexus design language, formed into a large four-door Grand Tourer shape including a huge trademark spindle grille with over 5,000 surfaces. The fastback, coupe shape is clearly influenced by the LFFC coupe concept car from 2015. The angular face is dominated by the grille, which boasts a unique mesh texture that appears to shape shift in different light. The angular front end contrasts with the swooping side profile, and over the rear wheels the broad shoulders of the concept translate into production form. In terms of dimensions it's a bigger car all round, being longer than the previous LS at 5,235mm, lower at 1,450mm and wider at 1,900mm, including a wheelbase stretch to 3,125 mm. The new design sits on top of a new platform, too. As expected, it gets an extended version of the new GAL architecture underpinning the new LC Coupe. It's a lighter, stiffer platform, and combined with weight savings from new lightweight materials such as ultra-high tensile steel and aluminium, the new LS is 90 kilograms lighter than the older model, despite being a larger car. The new platform ought to be beneficial when it comes to how the car feels to drive on the road, as it places far more mass from the engine, plus the passengers, into a lower and more central position in the chassis. Making its debut in LS 500 form, it gets a new twin-turbocharged 3.5-liter V6 engine with 409 bhp and 600 nm torque. That means more power and torque than you'll find in the outgoing V8-powered LS460, and while we've no fuel economy figures it should be more efficient. We've no top speed, but the new LS with its turbocharged V6 engine can do 0 to 62 miles per hour in 4.5 seconds in all-wheel drive form. It'll be available as a rear-wheel drive car too, and uses a 10-speed automatic gearbox. New multi-link suspension front and rear is also present, making extensive use of aluminium to save weight. Lexus says the new system should introduce a more precise steering response. It's mated to a new generation vehicle dynamics management setup for optimized ride comfort and traction, and rear-wheel steering is also a part of the package, for greater stability and agility. Complementing the revolution both on the surface and under the skin is a new cabin packed with equipment and technology and design tweaks. Ambient lighting inspired by Japanese lanterns greet passengers, and there's a new selection of wood finishes for the redesigned cabin. New 28-way adjustable front seats with cooling, heating, and massage functions will be offered, and place driver and passenger in front of a flat, Horizontal dashboard teeming with displays a 12.3-inch navigation screen being the centerpiece, while a huge head-up display will be an option. In the back, optional rear seats with heating, cooling and massage functions will be available, while the rear seat luxury packages introduces rear seats that can recline up to 48 degrees. 
New advanced safety features also make the cut as part of the Lexus safety system and suite, including a pedestrian detection and avoidance system with active steering. Lexus co-drive also features, providing steering control up to whatever the driver requires and semi-autonomous capabilities on motorways. Regarding a release, Lexus has only said that the car will go on sale in the United States towards the end of 2017, and we expect the LS to arrive in Britain early next year.